So we're back with Palaya YouTube. I will I will in a few months I will edit this together to make it uh, seamless. I won't actually. Okay, uh where do we go? To the village, to the tavern, to the to the inn's keeper. Yeah, I don't want to You look like one of those things from the fifth element. This is heavily inspired by the fifth element, I think. So someone was, uh, oh, we have clipping issues. Ooh. Can I crouch? Can I, let me see, settings. Oh, we can play this with the gamepad. Controller support coming soon. Key binding. Walk, run, wheel. Tool wheel is R. Oh, you can emote. Equip bow. You can hunt, apparently. Watering can, hoe. Don't make jokes about that. Keep note in mind. Uh, housing plot mode. Okay, okay, we'll figure it all out. So we can't crouch, apparently. Find Shura in Kilima. Okay. Oh, we can jump. Yeah, I figured that out. I played video games before. Oh, and we can climb as well. Understood. Okay. Yeah, I... Thank you, game. Thank you. So this is clearly designed for Nick Carter, because I don't think that Nick Carter is an avid gamer. Well, maybe he is. Maybe he is when, when he's touring with his Backstreet Boys, he's playing the PlayStation all the time. I don't know. It's very choppy, it's very not optimized. Get the Disney vibes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Great, the cascade of water is creating a nice rainbow here. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, this is a nice looking game. Hello, Junri. Um, uh, what, what is. Hey, wait for me! Wait for me! I want to explore this. Why would you catch water here in a bucket? Well, maybe to drink it. Where are you going? Hello. No. Oh. Huh. Okay. Let's get out of here. Well, maybe she met a dead end here, and that's why she came back. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. Follow me, I don't know where to go either. Presented to chat. You coming? Oh no. no. Okay. You'll figure it out. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Maybe they are waiting for a friend. Um, so which way do I go? The guy I'm looking for is over there. On the compass on top, I can see it. So where's my fruit basket? Did Azola necker me here? She promised me a fruit basket. Where's my fruit basket? Where is my fruit basket? There we go. Thanks for joining the Ward of Palaya. Here's a gift you, to start your journey. Thanks to the friend that referred to you. Check out blah 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 for earn more rewards. Have fun together. The Singularity 16. Okay. So I got my freaking claim it. Oh yeah. And, oh, what else? You're one of the very, very first players to join the Ward of Palaya. Uh, what is it? 
What do I get? Tiny windmill. Ah. Nice. Hello, fair Zephone. <laughs> fair Zephone. Greek mythology going on here. Nice. Who are you? Champagne. Lady Quackmo. Hello, Lady Quackmo. Those are great names. Tish. <gasps> it's Tish. This can't be a coincidence. Can't be a coincidence, guys. It's Tish. Don't trust Tish. Loki obsessed with Tish. You, oh. Oh, she is treacherous. Don't trust her. Nio. Hello, Nio. Yeah, yeah, that Tish. Yeah, no, 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 no. So I guess it's in here. There he is, Ashura. Why is everyone so purple? How's your day going? Oh, it's doing quite good, quite good, Ashura. I can assure you. That it's going quite good. Welcome to Kilimar. I'm sure this is quite a lot to take in. I'm Ashura, the innkeeper at the Ormu's Horn. Unfortunately, there isn't any room at the inn right now. Yeah, of course not. We have to do some quests for you first, right? But we do have some old plots to the northeast where you could build yourself a tent. Huh? What do you say? You want to take in the great outdoors? Um, nothing like sleeping under the stars. Well, you're sleeping in a tent. I'm not the camping type. I'm just glad I have a place to sl uh, Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's be humble. I would want someone to set me up with a place to sleep and something to eat if I materialized out of nowhere. Why would I do not do the same for you? So let's see. To build a tent, you're going to need to collect some materials. Okay, neat. Got an axe here for you, but you'll have to talk to our resident miner, Hudari, about the pick. Why would I need to go mine? Lucky for you, he's checking out the plots right now. You'll want to take the road up the hill to the northeast. Here I've marked the spot on your map. Oh my goodness. Not the tish from earlier. Yeah, 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 staff records. Yeah, sure. Not not that tish. Sure. If you get lost, just come back here and I'll get you sorted out. Okay. I'll see you around. See you around. Hello, Champagne. I am Nick Carter. I wonder, Nick Carter must be a dad by now, right? He's, he's so old. Um... Meet Hidari at the housing lot, which is all the way over there. So they send us across the village so that we can look at it. Oh, we have some messages on server chat. Up here. Um, this reminds me for some reason of... Fable. He's got protagonist energy. What is it? Ah, oh, it's coming along. A lot of trash left, though. Oh, hi. Hidari huh. Pavel of Pavel Mining. What can I do you for? Uh, he's talking like a little bit like Tommy Wiseau. 
Pickaxe. Biceps. Right place. Let's introduce ourselves. <laughs> Interesting name. Alright, Zumishura sent you over. Been sending a lot of new folk my way. Right. Yeah. The whole reason I'm checking out the soundness of these campsites don't need you all buried in mud. In fact, this one's about ready for use if you want it. Just needs a bit more work. I see you've got an axe already. Here, take this pick too. Always good to have the right tool for the right job. Use them both to clear the debris. Debris, debris. Age old argument as well, right? Would you? Hungry, yada yada yada. My daughter says I need to eat healthier, but I got more. Sure. Sure. R to open two wheel. We need to gather debris. We need to press and hold R to switch to another two. Wood debris. Oh, the hatchet for wood debris and the pickaxe for stone. Understood. Two wheel. Okay, let's let's gather some stone. Now we press F to loot it. Okay, we got two stone, one flint, and something else. Okay, almost there. Here we go. Nice. Uh, wait, we cleared three debris pieces, right? Maybe we're supposed to clear wood as well. Your action bar is full. You can scroll to the act to action bar number two using mouse wheel or middle mouse button rather, right? No, it's mouse wheel. Okay, I have two. Okay. Return to protagonist guy. Yeah. Huh. Still lots to do, but it's a start. I found this weird thing. I don't know what it is, but let's show him. Found a lot of strange things in the mines, but not sure what this is. Well, you found it, so you keep it. It's your plot after all. I've got other plots to inspect, but there should be space to drop this work table down now. I suggest you focus on getting a roof over your head and a place to keep your things before you worry about glowing tubes. Bye. Okay. Select the workbench from the action bar using the numbered hotkey. Rotate, Q and E, press left mouse button to make final placement. Understood. Okay. Oh, let's have it, I guess, here. Go. Craft a wooden storage chest. Um, I need more wood. Okay, fair. More wood. Let's cut down some trees here. But only once per tree. If you catch my drift. No. Do I have enough wood now? Sapwood, plant fiber. No, not nearly enough.
Oh, five wood. Maybe now we have enough. Let's see. Yeah, storage bin. Make. Okay, let's place it next to the workbench, I guess. Yeah. Craft a tent at the workbench. Place your tent. Makeshift tent. Just more wood. Makes sense. Makes total sense. Birch. It's a shame to fell all these young trees, but we need space to. Oh, this is a big tree. You need to upgrade your tool. Okay. Moral? Is that like a morsel? I I think it is. Do we have enough wood? Let's let's remove this as well. This looks ugly. So I assume this is my own realm, where only I can go, and no other players. And how can I follow people? Player support? Do we go to YouTube now? No. Huh. Well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I guess the game will teach us. I don't like these guys here. I want I want them to be gone as well. Let's get this out of here. Okay, I guess we have enough to create the tent. Yes we do. So the tent goes over here, I, I think. Whoa! This is a big tent. Can I scroll out? Doesn't seem like it. Wow, this is a big old tent. Okay, we have to clean more stuff up first. Um, yeah, let's clear out this area. I've been at this for some time. So collect more wood. Big tent. It's enormous, yes, it sure is. So Star Freckles, how can I follow you in this game? I want to follow you. What what happens when I press O? Ah use O to open the social panel. Oh here are the people on my channel. Hit the plus. You can start a party by inviting friends or players on the server. Oh. Friends, manage friends, search player. Is are you star records? <gasps> oh, is that you? That's you. Add friend. There we go. 
Now we are friends. Let's see if there is an Azula. No? Oh, disappointing. That's you. Wonderful. We are Palaya friends now. Wonderful. Uh, X and be gone. Shrub. Vile shrub, be gone. Right, the big tree we cannot fell because what what's going on? That sounded creepy. That sounded like the the church bells in Fallout One when you um when you're at the last stage with the master what was his face? Um and also if you play with the um, restoration project mod when you get to the chapel it also plays this very creepy church bell tune it's so eerie it's maybe to this date the most eerie thing I have heard in any video game but Mark Morgan is a genius like that right no one can deny it so Mark Morgan, if you are watching my Palaya stream for some reason right now, you're great. I love your ambience and your music. Good work. It sings to the dead. Oh. Here we go. I think that should do the trick. Yeah, that should do it. Let's put it down here. So there's nothing in it. Can I place my decorations? Oh, I can. So we have a fruit basket and we'll have a little windmill in front of it as a decoration. Oh, it's one of those windmills. It's not. It's not one of the good windmills we use in northern. We used to use in northern Germany. That actually makes sense. Yeah, no, it's one of those. Hmm. Not sold on that design. Ah, uh, talk to Auni. <laughs> oh, that must be the flying merchant or something. Good, you haven't left yet. My mom, the Layla, the Layla, told me there was another new human in town, and here you are. I ran all the way from the farm here. She wanted you to have this housewarming gift. Well, we don't have a house. Maybe it's a tent warming gift. Welcome to Kilimar. And I wanted you to have your mail. I'm Orni, and I handle all the deliveries around here. Twice a day, every day, rain or shine. Six in the morning and six at night. Well, that's those hours suck, my friend. So, I think it's safe to say my job is about to get a lot more interesting. And uh, you will have burnout in one week, my friend. Well, maybe less than one week. I would have burnout after two days. Do you like getting mail? You look like someone who would like getting mail. I love getting mail, of course. Good, then I bet you'll be happy with what I have for you. Come on, go check it out. It's your first mail delivery ever. Wow, was that Whoa. a dragonfly? Whoa. It's 90s excited kids uh, yell. 
Whoa! Um, mail. Check your mail and pick up any... Oh, in the mailbox, obviously. He didn't just hand it to me, he put it in the mailbox and told me, Look, I put your mail in the mailbox. Do you want to get your mail from the mailbox that I just put in your mailbox? He's like 13. When I was 13, I had no energy. None of it. So, uh, we open that. Okay, dear dad, I have been informed by Gina that you will disinherit me. <laughs> no, of course not. That you have emerged fully formed from the swirling mist. This is wonderful news. Happy day of mist birthing to you, new human. Other humans call me Aina. Oh, is it like something that when people on Earth die, they get reborn or re, re um, instated on Palaya? In Palaya or whatever? Maybe. Other humans call me Aina and I would like to share with you. Then we sh maybe we should have gone with Aaron Carter. I have the narrative like, oh, Aaron died on this dystopian planet that we call Earth. And he transcended to a better place that's called Palaya, and he's fine now. No more suffering. Well, let's not delve too deep into that. It's, uh... Other humans call me Aina. Someone, someone could think I'm making fun of Aaron Carter, but I'm not. I think he's a, he's a victim of his surroundings. For the most part. Lots of empathy for the guy. Please take this rod into your possession and seek me out at your nearest convenience. And same with uh, Will Smith's son. What's his face? Um, wait, they are called Will and Willow and they named their son... Um, what was his face? You know which one I mean. The, w the one who uses the Twitter and stuff. I feel for him. He, I don't, I don't think he's got it easy either. So many expectations, so much pressure. Please take this rod into your possession and seek me out at your nearest convenience. I shall be located at the pier for the ne next few millennia. And this letter. To human may concern, City Hall requires I send these letters to new residents. You will find... Guys, you put me out outside of your village boundaries with nothing but tools to build my own tent. You call that residency? You treat me like I am an outcast. You treat me like Europe treats refugees. Basically. I don't like it. I don't feel like a resident. I don't feel welcome. But okay, let's not get bitter. Let's go, let's go with it. See what we can make of this. Maybe someday we'll go from wrecks to riches and purchase a house in the village. Who knows? City Hall also requires me to tell you that I am available to tutor you in their use. During work hours you can find me in Kilima Village. This is not an invitation to waste my time. I am busy. Oh wow, he's uh, charming. Thank you. Oh, it's night. Neat. Neat night. Um, is that butter? Okay, Nick hates the floor. Um, check your mail and pick up any item deliveries. We have item deliveries? Mark has read. Please. Ah, okay. This is the stuff we got. Marcus Red. Oh, right. We need to... There we go. Return to Arnie. Are Hello, you Arnie. On an adventure? <laughs> yes, adventure. So, how are you settling in? This plot's huge. I heard you can find some pretty cool stuff in the dirt. My da oh, we got a shovel now. My dad found an old copper arrowhead in our yard last week, but all I ever seem to find are rocks. 
Well, I found the strange artifact. That's a weird glowing tube cone. Oh. Oh wow! What does it do? No idea. Huh? I bet Jaina must might know. She's always hanging out in ruins. You should see if she's found something like this before. Yeah. Oh yeah! I almost forgot in all the excitement. I brought a present for you too. Oh, uh -huh. nice. A Buck Scout's official belt and a set of smoke bombs too. I am a member of Kilimar's best and only buck catching club. I gotta run now. I got I gotta run now. But if you stop by later, I'll give you some tips on how to use them. Okay. But I bet you're hungry right now. You should talk to my dad, Bedru, to learn how to grow food. And Rath, who works at the inn, can teach you how to cook it. You know, everyone's waiting to meet you. Come on, I'll race you out. Bye -bye. Wanna... Leave your housing plot. I don't want to leave. I want to create more stuff and such. Is that food? Smoke bombs. Oh, more focus points. Is that permanent? Emotes, news. Where's my car screen? My my char charactor. My charactor screen. Character screen. Screen. So we have pickaxe, bow, fishing rod, makeshift belt, and axe. Okay. Oh, we have a oh romance. We can romance. Fishing attachment, fishing bobber, glider. Okay, so this is um, Zelda, Zelda game, Breath of the Wild, <clears throat> accomplishments. Okay, relationships. Ah, okay, so you can get romancing uh, going on with NPCs, I guess. Quests, map, no map available, no character screen. What are the focus points for then? Uh, we have a oh, focus increasing focus is a simple is as simple as eating when you earn experience Some of your focus is used to increase the total experience earned your focus bonus is 20% This can be increased by spending renown at shrines. Okay interesting player level one equal to the combined total of all of your skill levels increases your renown each level Okay, so are focus points my experience points? I guess only one way to find out. Focus increases experience gained. Ah, okay. Okay, makes sense. Okay, so I eat stuff to get an experience boost. Sales bin. Ah, okay. Good, so we could store everything we currently don't really need on us right now here. Oh, no, 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 we don't want to sell it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. We don't want to sell that stuff. Uh, what's this? Butter. Oh. Okay, now we were supposed to leave here. Let's do that. Move the inventory up to the blank space at the top of the chest screen. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, trying to create. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tell everyone about Palaya. What do mean the world to us? Well, I put your link on my Discord. You can't ask much more of me. Like, my Discord is, is so popular <laughs> that your servers will be packed. Um, but also, 
this one, this one has like 12,000 viewers on on Twitch right now or something. I think you're fine. I think you're fine. You have good exposure. Um, you can move the inventory up to the blank space at the top of the chest screen. Maybe you mean the... Oh, hello, Val Eliza. Nice outfit. Oh, you you are clipping into one another there. Oh, those guys are leaving their um their plots as well. Robusto Pali. Hector Shuntsu. Okay. Okay. Crescent. Uh, where am I going exactly? Oh, the person I'm seeking is asleep. But then there is an uh, archaeology person. I can show that glowy tube to her. Let's do that. Uh, neon Xenon. Okay. So all the NPCs are purple ogre-elf hybrids stuff, and all the players are humans. Okay, got it. I'm Come on. always here to help. Hey, Dad! It's good to see you again. Did you get settled in all right? Actually, I found something you might be interested in. Oh. What is it? Oh. Can't believe it! This thing is in an ancient flow battery. These were the power sources for the ancient humans. I've been looking all over for something like this. Huh? You say you just found some junk? I guess I'm just lucky. Must be uh, must be fate. We we are super important. It must be fate. I'm not really a believer in fate per se, but this is some coincidence. It might take me a bit of time to figure out what this does. I'll send you a letter once you know something. There's nothing out here that's more dangerous at night than during the day. So fearing the dark is highly illogical. Though that's not to say that animals such as myself are always capable of logic. Okay. Uh-huh. Logical. Talk to Bedru to learn how to garden. Talk to Reth to learn how to cook. It seems like they are asleep. Compass indicator says that there's someone asleep 250 meters away. Let's go find them. Bird. No, it's a moth of some sort. Oh, it's cute. Little moth. Um, can I just jump over this? Oh, wow, hello. Oh, you remind me of something, some anime character, I think. Hey, hey, can I help you out? Well, if it isn't another friend I haven't met yet, I'm Badru the farmer, and I sense we have some good times ahead. Oh, my goodness, great. What a great pun. Huh? Did I mention, in addition to farming, I also do stand-up comedy? Uh, can you teach me to do stand-up comedy, please? No. Potatoes are the worst crop to harvest. They're so low to the ground, they really throw out my back. Is that, is that funny? I don't know. Is that... Potatoes are the worst crop to harvest. They're so low to the ground, they really throw out my back. Ha 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 ha. So am I a, like is this? I, I cannot English that good. Is that is that? So far, he's mine as well, but yours is no. Your favorite is Tish, the traitor Tish. See you 
later, hot oh, potato. No, wait, wait. Wait, do How just... are your crops doing? Ah. You've come to the right place if you care it about fresh quality produce. Okay, I get that one. <laughs> Honestly, I'm impressed to see you going after what you want. If I had that kind of gumption, maybe I'd be doing more with my life than just making ends meet. I'm just kidding around. Farm life's great, especially if you love the smell of Ormu manure in the morning. So those animals are called Ormu. I'll admit it's a bit of an acquired taste. Where well, you get used to the smells of the, the, the countryside, of the rural areas. Tell you what, meet me on your plot later and I'll walk you through the steps. Looks like you're ready to swing by Canley. He's our mayor, so he'll get you set up with a new house. Oh, oh I neat. see you're hailing it a day for now. <laughs> neat, neat, neat. Okay. Let's go there. Meet the Drew at your plot. Okay. So that's that's for later. That's for later. Can we swim? Hmm. Somewhat. Let's but just let's not develop a messiah complex or anything here. It's not healthy. Also, we are no narcissists around here, are we? No, no, no. Nay, we aren't. Um, um, I guess I gotta climb up here. Oh, that's a neat name. Meri Mer Mersa Merigold. Oh, nice. So I assume focus is wearing off after time. No, it doesn't. It doesn't wear off. But maybe you have to replenish it after each level gain. That would make sense to me. Um, or do we... Do we just return to our plot? It seems like it. Yeah. Seems like it. Okay, it's telling me to go back to my plot. Oh, you get rewards for playing together? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. But Drew's here. Okay. Hello, nice Drew. Nice of turn if. Good to see you again, Springbean. This place is already starting to look different. I figured you'd still be working on setting up that tent. That's some work ethic. Uh... Well... Just the right answer. I'm sure you're gonna fit in here just fine. I bet you've been working up an appetite from all that shopping and mining. Well, you've got patience. I've got the solution to your woes. Gardening! All you have to do is wait a few sun cycles and voila! Dinner! Or breakfast, even lunch, if the mood strikes you. Mm. I know, I know, it doesn't sound exciting, but trust me, nothing tastes better than a carrot you've grown yourself. Well... Well... Does it? Hmm... I've got all the tools you need right here, too. Go on, why don't you drop it, this plot down and give it a good till? Thanks for stopping by! Make sure your garden plot is on your action bar and select it by pressing the number for that action bar slot. Aim where the garden plot should be placed and press left mouse button to make the final placement. Oh, that's a lot of tutorial here. One, two, three, four. More tutorial. Once your plot is down, press and hold R and select the hoe. From the tool wheel. Staff records, refrain from making hoe jokes, please. 
Till the ground with the hoe by pressing and holding. Place seeds on your action bar and select them with the corresponding number key. Press left mouse button to enter placement mode. Press left mouse button again while aiming at the plot you want to sow. Crops need to be watered each day. The water drop indicator lets you know when they're thirsty. Many crops can only be harvested once. You cannot refrain much longer, you have to. Many crops can only be harvested once, and so the cycle begins again. When crops are ready to be harvested, simply press F to harvest it. Okay. Plot. We have it on 2, and here we have it on 6. Uh, where do we want to have our plots? I guess next to the tent for now. For simplicity. And he gave us another one. Can I? No, can I? I don't want to snap it on like that. Okay, let's just do this. My goodness, okay. Um... Till the soil with your hoe. Oh, you have to do it like this. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Okay. This is going to take some time. Oh, nice. We found a vase. Do we also have flowers? Oh, you have to complete them as well. Oh, days. Poof. Wait, you didn't poof. No, you poofed. Poof. Come on, poof. All of you, poof. Poof. There, this has a rhythm to it. Poof. Just f gotta find your rhythm. Then it's easy peasy. Poof. Poof. There we go. Poof. Oh! Copper ore! Game is giving me dopamine. Already addicted. Poof. I get all the poofs. I get copper ore. Another poof. And there we go. That, that was fun. Where are the seeds? Where do we have the seeds? Oh, we will uh, level up our skill things by using them. Okay. Ah, and that's the experience we get. Okay, so and when we upgrade these, I guess we get new levels and such. I have no clue. Return to Bedru. Oh, he's still right there. Okay. Why, hello there. Oh. Uh, you might be wondering what you do next. Unfortunately, seeds don't plant and water themselves. Ah. You're gonna need some of these bad boys. Consider them a housewarming gift. Once your seeds are on the ground, go to that pond and fill up this here watering can and give that dirt a nice little bath. Mm, to that pond. Okay, there's a pond here. Okay. It might take a few sun cycles and a few buckets of water. 
but trust me, it'll be worth the wait. Some things you plant might have an effect on the seeds around it. For example, carrots and onions keep weeds from growing next to them. Oh, that's nice. You find yourself needing more seeds, you can pick them up at Zeke's. Well, I can't wait to see you again, neighbor. Oh, yeah, great, great pun. Thank you. <laughs> that would have been funnier if I had given you wheat seeds. Mm, I gotta work on my mature. Yeah, yeah, sure. Then it would have been funny. Yeah. All right. I'll leave you to it. Funnier. Where's the pond, though? Over there. Over here. Pond. Let's eat that mushroom. We know nothing about. Never eat mushrooms you know nothing about. Eat. No, you cannot not love the bad jokes. It's impossible. I love puns. I love puns so much. Bad jokes, puns, I'm all for it. Bad movies. Trash music sometimes. Hit me up with it. I love it. Especially when people try but fail. Okay. Get me out of here. Um, so he gave us all the seeds, right? Plant a carrot seed, plant an onion seed, water your seeds. But we have more than one of each. Let's plant more. Let's be naughty and plant more than the game is telling us to. What are you doing? You're throwing it all over the place, no. You dig a little hole, you put the seeds in there, and cover it up with, with soil, but not too much. You let the seeds breathe in there. Lasagna. Okay, now we have to get water. I guess the watering can. Ah, uh, how to use a watering can? Yeah, you need a tutorial for that, obviously. Like seriously? Not even my one year old needed a tutorial to use a freaking watering can. He could do it as soon as he could grab it, he knew what to do with it. It's that simple. Liquid goes in. You tilt it. Liquid comes out. Soil wet. It's not that complicated of a concept. Okay, you fill it up with the right mouse button. Uh, press and hold R and select the watering can. Mm. Will never wither. Progress is only paused until they are with uh, They are watered. Okay. It up. Oh, it's a nice quick fill, but can I fill it more? Nope. It's just one quarter full. Okay. Good. Let's water everything. Oh, the sound design is um, interesting. we go. Uh, everything is watered, right? Yeah, everything. Good. Talk to Reth to learn how to cook. Let's explore this place a little bit now, shall we? Can I fill my watering can here as well? Yes, I can. How can I equip nothing? Just press R? No. Eat more shrooms. And model. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, I... Uh, don't, don't ever eat mushrooms you know nothing about. You will end up in the hospital. I heard a story once about refugees from Syria 
who um who went to southern Germany and they found mushrooms that looked familiar to mushrooms they they knew from their home and they cooked them and ate them and all of them got sick because they were poisonous because they looked so similar apparently but they just thought it's the same thing Yeah, whoops indeed. Big whoops. Poor guys. Uh, let's eat those mushrooms to get more XP. There we go. 80 of 200. Pretty nice stuff. No, no, I wouldn't trust myself either. Friends of ours are mushroom collectors. Uh, or forages, rather. But they know their stuff. They they know their stuff. They know which ones you can eat raw. They know which ones are poisonous and all that. Uh, where am I going, even? This this way. Oh, you're the the merchant. Howdy! Yeah. You're here, awesome. You got your belt and your smoke bombs, right? Before we get started, you gotta take the Buck Scouts oath. Just repeat after me. I promise to honor nature and all its creatures, to always lend others a helping hand, and most importantly, tell Aunt Oni, tell Oni if you see anything really cool. Um. I promise. Awesome, welcome to the Buck Scouts. Ah, oh, why don't you try... Why don't you go try to catch something easy to start? Remember though, certain bucks will only come out at certain times. Okay. Gotta grab a snack! Snack! A snack! Uh, so this looks like the rat house. No, this is a general store. Oh, it's one of those cats. Yeah, I don't have any money, so... Uh... Oh, he's wandering around. Or she? Hey, you! Ah. He, okay. You're one of the newbies. Don't call me a noob. Um, name is Reth, but you can call me Trouble, sure. In addition to being bad news, I also provide Kilima with delicious soups and stews over at the Ormu's Horn. Stop by later, yeah? Always happy to chat with a friendly new face. Can you teach me to cook? Whoa there, you gotta learn to walk before you can swim. Unless you're a fish, but I'm like 97% sure you're a human. Why don't you start out by making campfire for make by making campfire for your place? Once you start grilling up shrooms like a champ, we'll get you started on the complicated stuff. Ah. Oh, if you don't want us to be stuck in a tent for the rest of your life, probably a good idea to talk to Kenley next. He's the mayor, but they but hey, I won't judge either way. Okay. I got my hands full right now. Yeah, you should. You should do, my friend. Um Oh wow, my, the, the, the chroma key really does not like my hair. I have beautiful hair, what is it doing to me? Awful. Okay, um... Maybe I can... I, I guess my camera just sucks like crazy. It's a cheap camera, it was 20 euros, so... Can't complain. Um, talk to Kenley about getting a house, yeah, with... with what money? Craft a campfire. Maybe you can do that. Collect common blue butterfly. Collect Kilimal night moth. Do we have the buck net? No, we just collect them like that. Oh, that's a nice name. Remy Lebeu. 
Khalid. Okay. Also a nice name. Many nice names here. Um, what's this place? What's the horseshoe place? Oh, that's the, the thingy thingy horn. Right? Fast travel. Where can we fast travel to? Go home for 10. Okay. Why do they charge you in-game money for fast travel? To make you want to make more money so you will play for longer. Aha. Uh -huh. Gotcha there. Sugarfoot. What's a sugarfoot? I don't know that term. Please do enlighten me, Star Freckles. Uh, okay, uh, it seems like we're at the right place. Oh, it's like a hobbit house. It looks like uh, Bilbo Baggins' house. Only bigger. Oh, you have to borrow the mounds from the stable. Ah, okay, 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 gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense, okay. Uh, but didn't these guys achieve utopia, where everyone can just share all the resources? Hey, you guys. Ashe, Yushenka, uh... Well, I'm looking for Kenley. Kenley, where, where do you be? 29 meters in this direction. 9 meters. Okay, maybe they are downstairs after all. Let's do the check. Oh, there are doors here. Right. Oh, Kenley's records room. Chat with Kenley. Sure, sure thing. Finally! Someone nice um, to talk to. This, if this was Ratch, this would have very Twin Peaks vibes. I'm the Honorable Kenley Bahari, the firstborn son of the late Kenjun Bahari, the 118th Duke of the Bahari Province. Whoa, that's a long lineage, guy. Mm. And brother of Kenyara Bahari, the current Duchess of the Bahari province. Oh, neat. <laughs> I am mayor of this fine village and it is great is a great pleasure to and honor to welcome you here among us. Uh, mm -hmm. let me get a house. A house and you're uh, you're asking me? Well, personally, I inherited mine. Have you tried that? Yeah, sure. I tried it, but it didn't work, because I don't have ancestors here. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course, because you have just moved in. The uh, plot didn't come with one. Mm. No matter, I'm sure I have the paperwork around here somewhere. Just give me a moment. Mm. Oh no, where is it? Uh, I shall tell you what. Go find Tish, our resident carpenter. I'm sure she'd be delighted to get you started on some nice furniture while I uh, locate those forms. So we have to outfit our tent and after we do a copious amount of questing or whatever he will give us a form so we can purchase a house then I guess. Okay. That's great. Uh, no. <laughs> Oh, tell me, do you think I'm doing an admirable job as mayor? Uh, yeah, sure. I can't really tell. I'm sorry. He's he's doing me. I mean, he's, he's he looks friendly, so I'll I'll give him that. And he's got a nice hat. Thank you. That's good to hear. Even if I suspect you don't truly mean well, I do truly mean. It. Sorry if I came if that came out the wrong way. City Hall storage room. You need a key. Oh, can you rob it later on? That's that's naughty. Naughty stuff. Mm, what do we do now? Talk to Tish, the traitor. Tish, the traitor. 
Uh, she should be somewhere here, right? Yeah. Oh, they are wandering around, apparently. They're not stationary. Oh, that's nice. Mm, so it feels more like they are actually oh, hi. living in a village. Yeah, okay. Hi, welcome to the valley. I'm Tish. I run the furniture store. Are you new in town or just passing through? I just moved in. Oh. So exciting, but also tough. When my brother and I moved when I, my brother and I first moved from the city, it took us a little time to adjust. Huh? I can imagine. Well, more than a little in his case. But if you need help with any of the locals, don't hesitate to ask. I'm known as a bit of a grump whisperer in these parts. Grump whisperer? Oh, I like that. I will steal that. Grump whisperer, if it, if it means what I think it means. I am so glad you're going to live here. I was trying to come up with a good welcome gift when I realized a house isn't much of a home without furniture. Oh. So here's some simple recipes for you to start with. If you're tired from all your hard work, why not build yourself a place to sit or a table to eat at? But she's a traitor. Tish is a traitor. I don't trust her. I don't know, yeah, but it's cute. Her her apron here, it's it's very cute with all the tools in it, and she, look, she also looks very Bavarian. My friend Yell insisted you have a wardrobe too. He's a tailor and he always says looking your best makes you feel your best. Oh. Uh, yeah, it can improve your mood a bit. I agree. It makes me, when I'm depressed and I I fancy myself a little bit, make myself more fancy. Makes me feel better about myself. Makes me feel more human. Even if there's something you can't make now, I'm sure inspiration will strike as soon as you start building. I sure. better get back to work. Uh, sure. I'm just biased. Oh, I'm never biased, Star Freckles. Never. Never ever in my whole life have I been biased. I don't even know what biased means. Uh, so where do we go now? The compass doesn't tell me. Pink ninja. Right, craft a campfire. Map is right here. Hassan. Why is he not on the compass? Place a chair, place a table, place a wardrobe. Craft a campfire. Collect blue butterfly. Collect Killer Mall Night Moth. Okay. Um, where do I go to get back home? Oh. And I can make I can make music with it too. And I'm cooking it. And I'm marking stuff. Okay, I'm gonna stop now, actually. Uh, so where do I get home? Einar, Hassan. Where is home? Fisherman's Lagoon. Is this home? No. Is this home? Ah, there we go. That's not too far either. Yeah, thank you, Star Riggles. Thank you for giving me the pointers. Let's play this like Oblivion. And Morrowind. You had a lot of help today. I imagine. Okay. So we are supposed to craft a 
campfire. Let's see. Campfire. Let's make it. Uh, Let's put that here-ish. Yeah, that's okay, I guess. Then forage mushrooms. Dang it, we shouldn't have eaten them all. Well, we could we could try and build a chair, a table, and a wardrobe. Then give the mushrooms some time to, to grow back. Table. Yeah. Chair, table, wardrobe. Okay. Oh. Lock cabin, large torch. Nice. Make the chair. Uh... Oh, we can learn a new thing. Um, shelves? <laughs> Bookshelves. Uh, dining table. Um, what are these? Is this like a bench? That's like a... Uh, a branch with with things stick t stuck to it, and this is a ah. small torch. Okay. Uh, right. So we got chair, we got table, wardrobe. We need just more wood. Request item. Need something? Request up to four different items from fellow Palians. Your requests will be active for a short period of time. Help other Paleons by fulfilling requests. View the open requests to fill requests. And then... You just get a nice and warm feeling in your toes? Or does that do anything else? What do I get out of it, game? Don't give you wood. Oh, this one gave me wood. That's a lot of wood as well. Thirty trees. Wow, foraging is now level two. What does that mean, though? How does a a rundown barrel like that give us plant fiber? I demand answers, game. It is illogical. Separate. Wow. We now have a lot of wood. Loot. And now we just need the wardrobe, right? Yes. Make it. Um, what's that? Is that like a toddler chair? What is this? Yeah. Cabin wall lock. Okay. Well, on the inside, it's rather small. Okay. Let's uh, place things. The table um, goes 
here-ish. And you, how can I pick you back up? How can I pick you back up? Uh-huh. I have played video games before. The wardrobe goes... Here. Surely. There we go. And the chair. Here we go. Hmm. I like that you can rotate it all the way around and not just in four directions. Okay. That's that quest completed. Now we have to forage mushrooms. Get out of that mode, and there we go. Let's get rid of these rocks as well, shall we? Nick Carter can do it. He is still strong from all the dance lessons he had. Also, I know that singing will really strengthen your back and your chest. If you practice singing a lot, that will strengthen your muscles as well. So Nick Carter must be must be very buff. I mean look at this guy. I recently um, rewatched an old show. I think I showed it to my future brother-in-law. It was on YouTube, like a, the whole video on YouTube of Domino Day. Is it? It's called. And they tried. It, the, it doesn't run anymore, sadly, because they have funding issues. Um, Nikata was on that show. It was like one of those big TV events you had in the 90s. I think those don't happen anymore. Like. That's basically, yeah, something like the forebearers of, of streaming, of you, what you would call streaming today, maybe, entertainment-wise. So Nikata was on that show, the big guest star. I <laughs> lost my And sandwich. one girl won okay. that she would get a kiss from him, and it was so awkward. Like, both of them really didn't look like they they enjoyed it. It was, because it was on national television, and... Ooh, it was kind of weird. Like two young people forced to kiss on TV for the entertainment of others. Wonderful news. I found the forms under the bookshelf in the records room. They're only a little crumpled too. And I think Nikata at the time he was like 19 or whatever. Maybe 20. Very young still. If you can just sign here, here and here, I'll be able to get you that blueprint. Oh, yes, and here too. Uh, and here he's like a insurance salesman. Mm. There we have it. And I even remembered to bring the blueprints with me. These are now yours, Dad. Oh. I su suggest you plop the frame down as soon as possible and get building. Now, if you'll excuse me, I do believe it's time for my break. I'm Wonderful. neck deep in paperwork right now. Yeah, sure. That's why you are on a break right now. Let's, let's look at our mailbox. We have mail, right? Gina. Dear Dad, I've been doing a lot of digging in the flow battery you found. Humans used to use these to power all sorts of things. You know, there's this old door under the waterfall that I've been t trying to open. It's just a little ways past the shrine we first met at. I've tried all sorts of things to get it open. Maybe this battery could be the key. Why don't you give it a try? This place used to belong to your people after all. You really should be the first one to check it out. Thanks. Ancient thing. Marcus Red. I'll try the battery at the door behind the waterfall. Place the foundation of your house. 
flowers, the foundation of my house. It's not in my inventory. Get a pack upgrade at Zeki's store to unlock. Okay. Oh, my focus went down. Okay, so I guess it deteriorates over time. And this is like your Boy Scout pins, I assume. Copper ore, stone, flint. I don't see a house's foundation here. H. Ah, harvest house. Aha. Uh -huh. Where do we, how do we put it here, like this? Oh, the creepy church belts. Ugh. Awesome. Ah, uh, let's put it, <coughs> oh god, sorry. <coughs> let's hope it's not a coughing fit. <coughs> <coughs> there is a throat infection going on here. Because the kids had achy throats a few days back. <coughs> Okay, there we go. I think that's okay. Oh, you can purchase more plots. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Purchase at City Hall. <coughs> yes, I remember too. It was like, yeah, when I woke up and my, my throat was achy, I was like, oh god, oh man, oh god, oh man. <coughs> So sorry, guys. <coughs> yeah, me too. Also, if I... If someone's sick near me is spitting into my eyeball... <coughs> I tend to get sick too. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm gonna get some water. <sighs> Just one minute. <coughs> sorry, sorry. Okay, we're back, we're back. <coughs> Resume. <coughs> yeah, it's worse in, in the mornings and in the evenings. This doesn't seem too expensive. 100 sap wood and 35 stone bricks. How do I make stone bricks? Maybe I have just I just have to mine them. Well, depends. <clears throat> um when it's blooming season in spring, a lot of people have heavy allergies. <coughs> So, uh, gladly, I only have a dust allergy and guinea pig, of all things. Although my wife had guinea pigs when she still studied at university in Hamburg. And I never felt a thing. So, I am I was always fine on that front. And I'm, I'm so glad I don't have any other animal allergies. Because I do love the animals so much. I love doggos and cats and frogs and, and dolphins and whales and <clears throat> the monkeys and the apes. 
Even the big hairless ones. I love those too. Dear Dad, looks like you've been improving your foraging skills. Why don't you stop by the inn later? I'll teach you how to build a sawmill that can put your supplies to use. Wonderful. So, about this one. Yeah, I don't want to sell anything really. Okay, so now we have to forage mushrooms, we have to investigate that battery thing, and we have to finish building our house. Tish, what do you have? Have you met my brother yet? Nope. I'm still here, yes. Cammy mentioned he found the blueprint for your house, oh, so I thought I'd stop by to give you some other health tips. If you want to finish your house, you'll need stone bricks and sapwood planks to get comfortable. So get comfortable with wood cutting and mining. Oh. You've met our innkeeper, sure, right? He can teach you to make a sawmill for those planks. <clears throat> and Hadari sells the stone smelter you'll need for the bricks. Oh, what? So you turn the stone you find into magma? and mold it into bricks smelt them you need a lot of heat to do that and without electricity that's a lot of work to get that's insane yes. you don't just smelt stone like that there's a reason why people in ancient times didn't have steel. Nice it was a lot you. of work to get steel from iron ore. <clears throat> Did she say Hidori is her brother? I don't know. I, I didn't listen to her. <clears throat> okay, let's, let's look for three mushrooms. Hey, where's my mushroom quest? It's gone. I want my mushroom quest back. Police. Hoduri is your in-game bay. Okay. So you romance them. Alright, got it. <clears throat> I want mushrooms. Give me over here. Map and quests. Ah, thank you. Cooking. House, sweet house. Harvest a carrot, harvest an onion. So I have to unpin one of these. And then I can pin this one. Yes. <clears throat> oh! I'm sure that looked better in the past. But there are no mushrooms here. Okay, let's see if our carrots and onions are done growing. Oh, mushroom. There we go. One out of three. Some ruins. Oh, we can peek through. Neat. Oh, you can climb. Oh, yeah, this is... Uh, everything's got to have uh, Breath of the Wild mechanics nowadays. Like, for some time, every game needed to have parkour climbing, like in Assassin's Creed. <clears throat> okay, no more mushrooms for us. Um... These are still growing. Are they watered? Okay, their property is weed prevention, but are they watered? Y 
Yes, it seems like it. Okay. Nope. That sounds very sci-fi. <clears throat> that sound effect. Oh, my headphones want juice. They do the piton. There we go. All better. Um, okay, let's go and talk to some villagers then. <clears throat> hey, Duck Go Duck Go Duck Got Game. Hello, welcome in, Duck Got Game. Or maybe Dog Suffices? I don't know. Uh, how are you doing today? Good to have you. That's going quite well. <clears throat> Still in Tutorial Town, obviously, but it's, it's good fun. Good fun. Thanks for the follow. It is oh. very much appreciated. Very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh right, my follower goal is not even up. Still, because of bloody bloodshore. Oh, um, for some time, but I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm assuming here, but I'm getting the I want to sell you GFX vibes. So if it's about that, uh, I'm sorry. I will not buy. I will not commission any art to someone outside my community. I'm sorry if I assume wrong. You don't want to sell me something. Okay. Just curious. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. I apologize. Sorry. <clears throat> Because I had I had people in here who wasted maybe 15 minutes talking to me, and then in the end it was like, oh I I want to I want to sell you my art and I was like yeah sorry it's not going to happen. Ah so you stream as well oh interesting I'll check you out. Ah well I started with zero viewers my first. Let's say 15 streams, I had no one. No one. And then people started to show up eventually. Um. <clears throat> right, middle mouse button. Azura, what... What is it? Let's just talk to Azura. Figure it out. We'll figure out what, what we get from Azura. I don't remember. Are you ready for what? <laughs> oh, here he is. Ah, uh, he's the innkeeper. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know starting out in a new place can be tough, but you've been doing a great job. I thought I'd help you out. I've got a couple of recipes for purchase that might make your life a little easier. You'll probably want to get a sawmill first thing to turn some of that wood into planks. Oh. Oh, wow. Dock up game. You, you were lying to me, weren't you? Thanks for the follow. It is very much appreciated. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow. I think Dockup Game was lying to me with those two viewers. And he's definitely not Thanks an art seller. Thanks for the follow. It is very much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. That's a big raid. Second biggest raid I've had thus far. Woohoo. Thanks for the follow. It is very much appreciated. <clears throat> <laughs> oh my days. 
I was arguing with myself in my mind to, to end the, the stream. It is but now I can't. Appreciated. <laughs> now I can't end the stream. <laughs> Gotta keep it going, right? Don't cut any fingers off on it, okay? Thanks for the follow. <laughs> he it wants to sell me art now. Okay, now I gotta now I gotta buy his art. Dang it. No, I I, I don't Thanks block anyone. For the I don't block anyone, it is no. Very no. much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You don't want his art? <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. I'll be the judge of that. Thanks for the follow. It is very much appreciated. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dark bot gone wild. <laughs> oh my days. Uh, there's lots of spooky legends around these parts. Let's hit that follow. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Then I have to do my 300 follow special. I just had the 200 one. <clears throat> some say the old well is haunted. But now I'm excited to raid someone else uh, soon-ish, because it's midnight over here. And I got stuff tomorrow. Fair travels! Fair travels! Dollar to the L. That's also a nice name. Yeah, wow. Thank you guys for all the follows. Those are a lot of follows. Very much appreciated. Dang it, I, I was I feel so silly now, like, oh you wanna sell me art? Uh, can you not waste our time? And then, and then like, oh my goodness. What a raid. I didn't even listen to what uh, what he said here. I'm so excited now. I'm from modern northern Germany. Uh, not to the east though. Uh, to the west. From the uh, North Sea coast. <laughs> well, not directly at the North Sea coast, but close to it. But I have been to Berlin twice, I want to say. No, 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 I don't ban people for um, soliciting, never. I don't, I don't ban people without any good reasons, no. I'm not... I'm not that, that kind of streamer who just bans people for minor things. No, you have to really fudge it up for me to ban you. I have, to this day, I have not banned anyone for my, for my channel. I say, what did Ashura say? I don't remember. Let's check the quest stuff. Thanks for the sub. You're in my book of cool people now. Oh, wow. Dock up game. Now I'm definitely gonna buy your art. Whoa. Thank you. Whoa. Pretty good rate thus far. <laughs> um. <clears throat> you need to do an art stream. Yeah, I'll watch that. I really enjoy it thus far. You <laughs> travel, Doc. I really enjoy uh, Palaya thus far. I even got the fruit basket because I used the France code. That that's my favorite part of the game thus far. The fruit basket. It's really great. Um. So what? What is? Ah, he was planked by plank. No, Ishura. Yeah. Obtain the recipe for a basic sawmill from Ashura at foraging level 2. I have that, right? I I do have that. Yeah. Hello there, friend. Join the valley. Oh, I have to purchase it. Oh, oh, he's he, he's making me pay. He's making me pay for it. A hundred coin? I don't have a hundred coin. Cut me some slack here, Ashura, please. I'm like a refugee. Gimme give gimme give stuff for free, please. Maybe. Nice name. This is very cozy. Can I sit on the chairs? No. Um 
I play all the stuff, but I, I tend to play a lot of chill and relaxed games and... Um, well, what do I... I play Crusader Kings 3 a lot, if that if that tells you anything. It's also... it's kind of... it's not really a chill game, it's a ground strategy game. But the music is very chill, the atmosphere is very chill. You can really have a good relax when playing CK3. And I, I constantly do have the relax when I play it. And then I play turn-based tactical games, like I play Jack Alliance 3. Um, all sorts of stuff. Shadows of Doubt, if you know that one. Uh, what else? Well, today w was supposed to be awful awesome movie game Monday, where I play FMV games. I played Blood Shore today, but that was over within an hour, so um, and I thought, okay, I got this cool Palaya code from a friend that grants me a fruit basket. I should redeem that. And I did, and then I downloaded the game, and now we are playing this. Um, yeah. And now I have to look at quests and see what, what I'm supposed to do next. So, yeah, but lots of chill games, relaxed games here. I, I play Disney Dreamlight Valley, Everdream Valley. I do own Stardew Valley, have not streamed it yet, though. I plan to. And also, well, wait, yes. You like chill stuff, you like art, you guys, right? Let's give a shout out to Star Freckles, one of my favorite streamers and persons, people, to exist. Uh, she does amazing art streams. She does, uh, she plays cozy games. She also plays Dreamlight Valley. She has played this one today. Palaya, she streams um, Stardew Valley, and she does animal portraits. She does, she paints animal portraits on stream. It's so gorgeous. It's it's, it's so amazing what she does with uh, with a few. Well, they, are they crayons? No, they're not crayons. They're fancy fancy pencil things. I have I don't art. I don't know art at all. But I love her streams. So please go check her out, leave her a follow if you like. Um, she's all about the coziness and the kindness and grown-up crayons, yeah. She uses grown-up crayons to do her art things. She's currently painting a white doggo, I think. Are you still on that, Star Freckles? And her, her animal portraits are so wonderful. And if you want one for yourself, you can commission one to her. She. I, I tried, I tried, I asked her, but she won't take exposures as currency. So I, t I told her, like, Star Freckles, you know, I have like 50 followers on my Instagram. I can give you like 500 exposures if you paint my dog for me. And she said, no, I don't take ex exposures, no. Um, yeah, finishing up Crawley tomorrow, nice. I'm, I'm just joking, obviously. Um, but yeah, if you if you want a hand painted animal portrait, she's the place to go, I think. You pay exposures, yeah. <laughs> That's what I would do as well. So go check her out if you like. Wonderful person, wonderful streamer. Uh, quests, cooking, mushrooms, battery. Okay, let's, let's look for the battery stuff. Uh, where's that? Quest objective. Is that it? Phoenix Falls? That's, that must be it. Oh, that's this way. This way, and then up here. Okay, there we go. Not too far. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that that must be the ruins where we started. 
looks very much like that. there's the big cascade of water. Grand strategy. Stellaris, yes, exactly. Stellaris is, uh, in a general sense, also a grand strategy game, yes. And it's made by Paradox Interactive, who also made Crusader Kings 3, which I was referring to, which I stream as well. And then you have Europa Universalis 4, also by Paradox Interactive, and so on. Imperator Rome, which nobody plays anymore, I think. Like, literally nobody. And, um, yeah, those kinds of games. Big, big, big strategy games you can sink hundreds and hundreds of hours into. Maybe even in just one campaign. Uh, am I am I on the right track here? Oh, I'm I'm supposed to go ah uh, no, in this direction. I've been moving in the wrong direction. I didn't pay attention at all. I'm just uh, I'm just a little bit nervous, just a little bit. Because I don't get that viewer count normally. Daniel Stellaris. New co-op empires. I played Stellaris uh, multiplayer before with a friend, and I always, I'm always up for multiplayer experiences. Enter rooms. So you could hit me up on that as well. Maybe we can find some space to align gaming hours. It's not always easy, but yeah, if you're if you're up for it, I'm up for it. I own it on Steam, so I don't have the console edition. Because I don't. Sadly, I do not own any consoles. I only have my crappy potato PC. Uh, where do I go? Explore the chamber inside the door. Okay, yeah, let's explore this. Take a shower, I guess. Ricardo needs a shower. They recently added some sort of feature or two controlling the same empire. Yeah, that's what the game was lacking because there was basically no interactivity between you and your friends. I, when I played it multiplayer with my friend, we started on opposite sides of the uh, universe of the. Of the um, 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 yeah, galaxy. That's the word I was looking for. Galaxy. And uh, we we couldn't interact at all with each other. It wasn't really great, but it, it was a fun session. But we didn't we didn't keep playing. But that's great that they added co-op. The strange writing says, knowledge grows the mind even in times of strife. To enter here you must supply what which grows life. A soil? Knowledge grows the mind even in times of strife. To enter here you must supply that which grows life. Um, solve the riddle. Do I have soil in my inventory? I wonder if people started doing lore videos for Pelaya. I wouldn't know. I have ne not checked this game out whatsoever. All I know about this game is uh, based on what I have seen. And the little bits and pieces of Azurla Stream, who I got the key from, and Star Freckles Stream. She streamed this earlier today. Other inscriptions. Okay, thank you. Oh yeah, I don't mind backseating, uh, and when I do, I, I say so. Because we are all about the coziness. Oh! Ancient Tome. I often pondered why this... Pondered? Pondered? Not wondered? Why this temple was built here of all places? I believe I finally found my answer. Flow in its raw form is so powerful, and here it has combined with the water together 
they have evolved into something else. I'll have to study it more to get better answers. E W. Okay, so we have to leave that here for others to read it. No, I didn't read anything else. What, you, you are talking to your husband while watching my stream? Okay, it's like that, is it? <laughs> just teasing, just teasing her. Star Freckles and I, we, we are teasing each other all the time. The audacity. The audacity. Well, I, I mean, to be fair, I take care of my children while I watch your streams sometimes. Where's there more stuff to read here? Let me read this again. I've often wondered why this temple was built here of all places. I believe I've found an answer. Flow in its raw form is so powerful, and here. Oh! Life! Water! Ah, yeah, that's the most. I think those are the most fun streams and streamers as well who don't take themselves too seriously and where you can just make a little bit of fun of each other and have good chuckles with each other. That's always the most fun, and I, I aspire to be that as well. Just you can have fun at my expense if it's not, if it's not mean spirited. It's all fine, I guess. Uh, okay, so life is w water is life. Okay, okay, got it. It's the fifth element again. They watched the fifth element before they made this game. Yeah, definitely. They played Breath of the Wild and they watched the fifth element. No? To enter here, you must supply that witch crystal. Like, where do I supply it? Though? Here. Ah, ah! Gotcha, game. There we go. Haha, <laughs> use my noodle. This is smarty pants here, yeah. Okay, uh, so I'm a puzzle master as well, so I can solve all puzzles in all video games always. But I, I, I'd like to pretend I can. Well done. Yeah, thank you, thank you. This is uh, pretty tough. So what do I do in here? Especially sliding puzzles. Oh, I'm, I mastered them. I solved the 9x9. Nine nine. Not the 9x9, nine nine, I solved that. Oh, my friends are here. Uh, Gina and Heckler. You actually did it! I heard the rumbling and came running. This place is amazing. It must have been some kind of temple. Can you actually read the carvings on the walls? This is ancient human writing. Actually, no. That makes perfect sense. You're a human. Of course you can read your own language. Um, The human language? What? <laughs> you scared the head. Heckler and I will survey this room. Oh! It's Star Wars now, and it's uh, the language that is written is basic. Ah, I gotcha. To see what we can learn. Huh? I read myths about unique types of flow outside of that. Mm, if flow is really in the water around here, it would explain a lot. Until next time. Okay. Scout as far in as you can go. Oh wow, this place is huge. Looks neat. This chamber was added for your protection. Do not give up your faith. The king shall free us when it's safe and our people will roam the land again. Oh, that sounds like a threat. Humans taking up space at the expense of other species, maybe? Who knows? Um, so where do I go now? I guess I need a glider, like this one. 
to explore more of this. Yeah, also, yeah, maybe I should... Uh, there, there are still a few people here, so maybe I should... Um, Staff Records mention it here. So I'm a pro gamer and pro streamer, obviously. The proest of pros. I pro at all the games I play. No, I, I actually don't. I'm just a casual. I'm just some little casual normal dude who tries to stream while parenting his kids. And when I when I do do the gaming, I do the streaming as well. So whatever I play, I stream, and whatever I stream, I play. Uh, which is obviously I'm always here obviously the case. Yeah. I hope I didn't freak you out too much when I clammed up. I just never witnessed an actual human re-emergence, a human re-emergence before, and this whole thing is just a lot. Favorite end of day stream. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, why did you climb up? I thought someone with more experience in the human re-emergence field would be better able to help you. It was only after I left that I realized I am the foremost expert on human reemergence at this site. Aww. So yeah, I kind of bungled that one. You're an archaeologist? Aww. I wish. Right now I'm just an apprentice. I'm doing my thesis on human reemergence with the hopes of becoming a full scholar. Your favorite overall stream channel? Oh, thank, thank you, Stan. So, if you see any interesting artifacts that need examining, go ahead and send them my way. Especially relaxing at the end of your day. They might be the key to me becoming a full scholar. Even if I stream something like Project Zomboid <laughs> or Blood Shore. I can't imagine that. That's not relaxing. Or, you know, the key you, to you discovering the mystery of what happened to your people. That second part is obviously a lot more important. Forget I said the first thing first. Huh? What is it? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, I, I, res I, I loathed classes. I loathed them. Never liked to go to school. I uh, university was eh, okay. Yeah, at least I chose that, but... Oh, you're playing that game. I want to get to that game too, but uh, maybe... It's not in the budget right now, so maybe... Around the Christmas. What is it? Some big runes. A rune, intriguing. Perhaps this was a temple. I wouldn't try navigating that area without a glider. Ah, uh, <laughs> gotcha game. I played video games before. I knew you needed a glider for that. I understand, I understand. It was the same for me with Jagged Alliance 3. I was I was talking to my wife and said, Oh, can, can we spare 36 euros? Uh, she said, Oh, is it for that turn-based game you've been waiting for 20 years? I was like, yeah, yeah, just go ahead and spend the 36, it's fine. <laughs> Uh, you'll need to speak with Najuma about building you one. Okay. But she usually hangs around Bahari Bay. Okay. Oh, back to my I will forget all of that. Okay. I guess. Um. Yeah. It's 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 uh it's almost half past midnight here. I guess I don't have to save this, right? So. I will end the stream, but um. Before I forget to say it, if you are inclined to follow this channel, it would be an honor for me if you did so. If you are not inclined to, it's, it's per perfectly fine, of course. But if you have not hit the follow button yet and you, you think you might like my content, please consider it. Um... Wait, my follow account is missing a follow. Whatever. Let's find someone to raid, shall we? So, Lucky is playing Yakuza 5 Remastered 
Oh my goodness. Thanks for the follow. It oh. is very much appreciated. Thank you, Delta Saber. Thank you. Oh, it was uh, also great that you followed. It was very nice conversing with you. Always nice to have people to converse with. Lang, he's playing Baldur's Gate 3. Lang raided me once. It was amazing. Milk Toast is playing Project Zomboid. But that's maybe not too cozy for you guys. But it's in Baldur's Gate 3, maybe. Oh yeah, thank you, Delta Saber. Thank you. Yeah, as I said, I really enjoyed conversing with you. Okay, let's r let's raid Lang. He's got 15 viewers right now on Baldur's Gate 3. He's a very chill, very great streamer. Um, let's raid him. Let's raid out to him. And you guys have an amazing one, a great one, and I hope to see you very soon. And bye bye. And there we go.